Hello, this video will discuss the modeling of steel domes in Protostructure 2022 and how to assign loads. First, you need to pick two points for placing steel domes on the model. The parametric dome wizard window will welcome you. Here, you can explore the parameters that control the geometry of the steel dome. For example, let's change the dome height. The changes will be reflected in the 3D preview immediately. Crown frames are placed at the top, they can be modeled with segmented frames, or with a single frame, crown radius and crown height are associated with each other, when you change the crown radius, the crown will update accordingly, it is reversible property of steel dome. Longitudinal frames constitute the backbone of the dome structure. Similar to crown beams, they can be segmented or single. Longitudinal span counts can be arranged. Latitude frames are horizontal members of steel domes, and again, they play an essential role in the dome's stability, Latitude span counts can be arranged as well. Support frames are optional and placed at the bottom of the dome. If you don't have supporting frames already modeled in the structure, you can choose to use them. You can add claddings to steel dome. Brace frames are also essential for the overall stability of the dome. Here you have several options for vertical brace layout. You can use one of the preset options, which are double, single, or staggered layouts. Select the custom option and specify the bracing pattern for custom placement. Details of the custom pattern are given in the tooltip window. You can also specify the horizontal layout options for bracing. All spans or alternating spans can be braced using the available options. If you want to customize the horizontal layout, that is also possible like brace frames. Purlins are necessary for supporting the claddings. Their insertion is optional here. You can arrange purlins to be placed between two latitude beams by specifying the intervals. You can also specify whether an additional purlin will be inserted on latitude beams. Profiles for the dome subframes can be controlled in groups. You can choose from the extensive steel profile library in protostructure. Depending on the connections that will be applied, the end conditions used in the analysis can vary for frames. By default, all the braces, latitude frames, and purlins are pin connected at their ends. Whereas crown, longitude, and support frames are fixed connected. You can assign different end conditions to frames. When you load the steel dome into the load editor, you can see that all panel regions are highlighted for easy load application. The preferred way is to apply a uniform area load to panel regions. The uniform pressure load will be automatically distributed to the underlying members. Of course, you can always apply point loads, uniform, or trapezoidal distributed loads to nodes and frames of the dome individually. Trapezoidal load and full uniform load can be added to the frame members in the steel dome as shown. Fully uniform load can be applied to steel dome in many directions such as global Y and global Z. Since the claddings are in a transparent image, you can easily see full uniform loads and trapezoidal loads which are applied to the frame members in different directions such as global X and global Y.
Point loads can be added in frame insertion points in the steel dome. In the Report tab, you can select load cases such as G, Q and load types such as point load line load and area load. If you examine the load report of Steel Dome, you can see loads, load case options and other things such as direction, magnitude and position. You can change the format of report to PDF or Microsoft Word file. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the videos to come.